Oh my God, this angle, it just looks beautiful. I just put these new... I may have to sell it and make a nice healthy six to 800. So we got the Sigma Paris short throw shifter. She's a beauty, she really is. And that's why I bought her. All right, so we finally have a little walk around of my 2012 Evo 10, pretty decently modified with just, a, what is it? I think it's, hold on, let me, I got a cord hanging over here. I think it's making noise. Just about a little under 22,000 miles. And there's two reasons why I'm making this video. One is because I honestly haven't done a walk around and full introduction of this car on the channel yet. Then also, sadly, I don't want to, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to, but I may, I may have to sell it. And believe me when I say this, I do not want to sell it. This is my third Evo, and I said it in my other video, third time's a charm, I am not selling it. I'm learning from my mistakes of selling it in the past. I had an Evo 9, then I moved on to an Evo 10, which was a white one, a 2008. And then this one here that I picked up recently because it was in beautiful condition, this beautiful blue. And I apologize if there's wind noise. I do have a wind guard on my microphone. So hopefully the audio is picking up decently. I just put these new wheels and tires on about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. They've been sitting at the shop, New Jersey Speed Shop over in Dover. They're the Enkai Kojin. I love the concave look on them i've had them sitting there for a good oof, i don't even know could have been close to half a year it might have been two three four five months i can't remember 100 percent i've been going through a lot of health issues lately uh next month in may will be one year and it's been very difficult a lot of doc doctor's bills are piling up i've been traveling to different states to see specialists and because of this, I, that's the reason why I might have to let this go, you know? Obviously, I don't plan on letting it go. I just put new, brand new wheels and tires on. I plan to keep building this. I don't have the full build list on hand right now. It's been sitting under a cover. I take it out, you know, every so often, maybe a few times a month. And it still starts right up. You can see some of my more recent videos. She's a beauty. She really is. And that's why I bought her. Low mileage. Last year, they made it. It's got a precision 6266 Gen 2 turbo tuned by uh, I'm going to I'm going to mess up the the name. Is it RKK or RRK Motorsports? Very very famous in the Evo community from what I've heard. He tuned it. Previous owner brought it to Connecticut. It put down from I don't have the downer sheets on me. He was supposed to supply them to me. I actually spoke to um is it Wraith? 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 I think I forget the guy's name, the tuner, but I spoke to him directly and he said it was tuned on E60. It is flex fuel tuned. Right now it's running about E60, like E59. And it would put down a little over 500 to the wheels because the engine is still stock. Uh, besides like the minor upgrades, like fuel pump, injectors, little things like that. The engine itself internally and everything has not been touched. And that's why, you know, the turbo has the potential to do from what I've seen the 6266 Gen 2 probably close if not over uh, I was gonna say 800 definitely 700 but pretty sure this turbo can make 800 to the wheels just needs a little bit of work to the engine and that's why I bought it because it was a perfect platform with low mileage properly modified it's got a full Varus kit as far as the rear bumper and front bumper this is the according to the previous owner the actual Doluck or Duluc, however you want to pronounce it, carbon fiber with the built-in duckbill spoiler, which I love. My old Evo 10, the white one from 2008, I had the same one. It was more of the knockoff one, but these is, this is the official one according to him and the official Varus taillights with the Varus rear bumper. Full rear bumper replacement, not just like a diffuser. With the front as well, Varus has, I want to say three, maybe more different styles when it comes to front bumpers. And this is one of those. I actually bought black mesh, because first, and this is all personal preference. I preferred the black mesh instead of the silver. The previous owner did it with the silver, but it, it's still, look at this thing. Oh my God, this angle, it just looks beautiful. And I'm not saying this because I'm selling it, believe me, I don't want to sell it. I literally bought this. And again, the wind might be picking up, so I hope this screen is doing its job. 
when I bought this, I had zero, and I mean absolutely zero intentions to sell it. It's got this beautiful carbon fiber front lip that's built into the Varus front bumper. She's just a beauty. I keep her under a car cover 24 seven because I do not have a garage that I can put her in. So she's either under a cover, and if not, take her out for a little spin, right back under the cover. Again, these Cosian wheels were just put on. It's got the, I wanna say this is the NVIDIA, I believe. Let's see, can we take a peek? Yeah, I see the NVIDIA logo on the left there. Okay, wind's picking up a little hard. I'm just trying to move around to see if I can minimize the wind noise because I don't know how good this is going to do. Let's pop the hood real quick. I'll show you inside. Uh, inside is not the, the cleanest in the sense that I have stuff going. Actually, you'll notice car cover. I just rolled it up to literally put in uh, when I took the car out. I just rolled it up and put it in there. It's got the WK. I think that's what it is. WK Motorsports, I believe is the one. Short throw shifter. I put the from racing. Their shift knob. I love the racing shift knobs. It's got the triple pillar pod mount over here. Uh, it's in beautiful condition. He also put the Recaro as a previous owner because I didn't even know this. My 2008 came with Recaro's from the factory. Apparently, the 2012 did not come with Recaro's from the factory. So they apparently stopped doing that and he went ahead and put the Recaro's from the older that somewhere between 2008 and again I forget the exact spec or I mean what year they stopped including it again I don't have a full model list on me I think it's lowered on a it's a slight drop on springs I don't know a hundred percent let me just open this real quick so we got the 62 66 gen 2 back there it's got as you can tell already if you haven't seen it the ETS front mount intercooler Again, I don't have the exact specs as far as all the ETS components and some of the other stuff. I know it's got the teal or tile or whatever you want to call a uh, blow up valve and some other components. She's built up and she feels very, very strong on the road. Mind the background noise, a lot of wind blowing stuff around. I'm just in a little isolated location to try and record this for you guys. Again, it's sad because I'm kind of bringing you guys a little up close and personal of the car. And I had plans to grow it to 800 wheel horsepower. I'm bringing it over to New Jersey Speed Shop in Dover. Donnie over there has been taking care of all of my other cars. I'm a car enthusiast most importantly, first and foremost, since I've been young. And when I know that there's a car that I potentially might sell, I do not go and beat on it or anything. Just like I'm selling the Fiat 500. I, I, I'm not really driving it that much anymore. If I do, it's just daily driving it. You know, a lot of folks when they're selling cars, they like to do the little last hoorah and go crazy. That's not me. It's not me. I don't have it in me. I know that if I'm going to sell a car, and unfortunately this one might be for sale, that I'm not going to go crazy. So if someone is serious about this, you know, it ain't going to be cheap. I don't know what I'm asking for it yet. It's a 2012 clean Carfax, zero accidents from recollection. My girlfriend works at a dealership, so I can literally run the Carfax for anyone who's interested. 21 inch change, thousand miles. Again, I don't want to sell it, but if the right offer comes up, I might have to. I need to think business and health right now. Health first, business second. I bought this car out of nostalgia. This was a nostalgic vehicle to me. I loved it. I planned on keeping it. I knew over the course of the years, it's only gonna go up in value. I wanted to build it. I knew it had a perfect setup with the turbo. Just need a little bit of engine work to really, uh, you know, could have just been, you could go as simple as just doing some like, uh, what is it called? Titanium uh, springs, beehive retainers, whatever. Maybe set a cam. Some people don't even say they're too worth it. You could have done that to get the extra revs because this turbo makes the power up top. Or you can go and build the engine a little bit, sleeve it, do what you got to do, and make a nice healthy six to 800 or more with it. Like I said, right now it's making a little over 500 and it's only on E60. So, uh, again, the wind is getting a little crazy. Let me just shut this and I'm going to wrap this up. I don't know if you guys can hear me good. Hopefully you can. If you're interested in more Evo content, 
like I said, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll keep it, subscribe. I have more content anyway recorded in the past that I just didn't have time to edit because of my health. So there'll be more videos on this anyway that you'll see she pulls strong and healthy. I have past videos and more videos coming. And if you're interested in this Evo, uh, again, I'm 100% sure but for the right offer, I'm gonna have to let her go. You can reach out to me. You can, you can follow, uh, catch me on Instagram, you know, Driven District. I'll have the link below. Just follow me, DM me, whatever, comment so I can see it's in there. And then we could chat located in, uh, you know, North New Jersey. She's a beauty. I don't want to see her go, but like I said, I got to think of health and business. So that's about it. Subscribe if you're interested in more car content. I have plenty of other cars in general. I'm always featuring other cars, even if they're not mine. So subscribe for more. Check out drivendistrict.com for some merch, some performance parts. Great way to support the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.